So, people, we have here uh, so the book, book launch, Brazilian Marine, Marine Biodiversity, the book on estuaries, a benthic perspective. Huh? Uh, this is the marine, uh, this is a series, this is a, a Springer series that we planned some years ago uh, to talk about the Brazilian marine the biodiversity, bio, biodiversity uh, for non-Brazilians. That was the idea. So that uh, we planned to publish it in English so that people from other countries would have a, a very uh, updated uh, synthesis on what the, we know about the Brazilian biodiversity, so that this would uh, stimulate partnerships, would stimulate people that would like to study our, our biodiversity, to do comparative studies, so that that was the, the, our, our intention. Huh? And then uh, this series has 10 volumes, planet volumes, in fact, nine planet value, uh, volumes and one published volume. Uh, so estuary is the first one, deep sea habitats, shallow continental shelf habitats, marine and coastal environmental education. This will be the next one, the four is two now. Um, rocky shores, sandy beaches, mangroves, salt marshes, rhodolite beds, vegetated, vegetated bottoms, and coral reefs. And now I'm not sure, I don't know why I'm looking at that because it's here. <laughs> it's, uh, okay. So coral reefs will be the last one, and it will be published in 2021 or 22. We are publishing super year, so it takes a lot of job, a lot of work to do to do this. Okay, and then uh, this uh, series is uh, associated to this network, the Rebentos. Okay, it's called the network, the Brazilian network for network for monitoring benthic habitats, coastal benthic habitats. So the idea was to create and implement an integrated network to study coastal benthic habitats along the Brazilian coast. Uh, to establish a long time series on benthic biodiversity as a strategy to detect the effects of global climate changes. So there were some goals like stimulate a thematic discussion related to climate changes on, uh, within the benthic ecologists, uh, uh, the benthic scientists, which was not occurring at that time. Uh, we would like to establish a long time series on benthic, on biodiversity, uh, biodiversity of benthic coastal habitats, produce knowledge to evaluate the effects of global climate changes and local impacts. Uh, we intended to do capacity building and also environmental education and communication. So we would like to talk about climate changes and benthic habitats. Okay? After some years, we have now 166 participants from 57 institutes, institutions in the 17 coastal states of Brazil. Brazil has 17 coastal states uh, with some international collaborators. So it's a very, uh, it's a wide cover, we have a wide coverage around, uh, along the Brazilian coast. Uh, some publications were um, released. Okay, we published a, an ebook with protocols for monitoring the benthic environments. We made a publication with uh, papers, review papers on the, all these habitats in the Brazilian Journal of Oceanography. Uh, there were 67 projects and 37 monitoring po points, which were, which are shown here in this map. So we are starting a perhaps in a few years, a long time series. It's not long now. Uh, these were the two publications I mentioned, the, 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 the guidelines and the, and the review, uh, the special issue in the Brazilian Journal of Oceanography with the reviews by each habitat. And then we have some potentials. Uh, so we, we may, the network may uh, work on adaptation uh, to climate changes through monitoring and evaluation of the effects of benthic, uh, on the benthic communities, application of the protocols to record the exotic species, not only climate change. So we have a team uh, out there that can also work on uh, exotic species. Uh, we may promote integration with marine protected areas to uh, improve monitoring. We have the potential to uh, raise awareness in the society and decision makers about the importance of this marine biodiversity, sorry, and stimulate integration between different uh, areas of knowledge, which is the aim of this uh, course. More information you can see in rebentos.org.
And this uh, project or this network is being funded by several institutions like Biot of APESP, CNPQ, CAPES, FINEPI, and is part of the Brazilian Climate Network, uh, which is linked to the Ministry of Science, Technology, uh, Innovation, and Communication. Yeah? And now we, ha we are here. This is the, the new book, the fresh book. We don't have it, uh, the printed version yet, only the electronic version. And then I would like this guy and this guy as the editors. I would like to introduce you, Paulo Lana and Angelo Bernardino. But I would like that Angelo talks about yourself and Paulo in the book, OK? <laughs> so. Thank you, Alex. Good, good evening, everyone. Uh, so it's a, it's a pleasure to be here. Paulo, unfortunately, couldn't come to, to Sao Paulo today. But um, as Alex briefly said, we started this work a few years ago. Actually, it was in 2010, I think, that Alex proposed, came out with this idea of establishing a coastal network to evaluate climate change in Brazilian um, marine habitats. And it was a really interesting thing because we had, we've, ha we've had experience of monitoring. I mean, there's some PELD, LTER sites, which in Brazil is called PELD program. And some of these sites are located in, for example, in Abrolhos, in the coastal, in coral reefs, and some land sites, right? So some, some of these sites, they date back from like 20 years ago. And even though we had some of these programs running in Brazil, we didn't have a, like a systematic uh, data acquisition on coastal habitats. And we used, so Alex came out with this idea of establishing this network, which eventually uh, was named as Rebentos, uh, to monitor benthic assemblages all over the coast of the Brazilian coast, which you know is a, has a continental scale, right? So from the Amazon to the southern Brazil, we have over uh, 7,000, 8,000 kilometers of coasts. And, and this, it was, a human, it was a huge work, right, to get researchers from the Amazon to the southern Brazil to work on systematic data acquisition using systematic protocols, which would be eventually comparable and use it for climate change and other, other management uh, uh, products. So, uh, we got, Alex got this funding, like it was a three year funding uh, to do this research and establish the protocols, uh, which was a great, now Alex just showed you, showed you, you have like over eight teams, major teams on coastal biodiversity, from coral reefs to sand beaches, uh, uh, mangroves, estuaries, and so on. And a lot of these groups are already, we're already set up, so people have, I mean, one of the main, I think one of the main results of the, of the network was putting people that have, had never worked before and they started working together with similar objectives, even though the funding limitations still persist, right? We still don't have all the funding we need. Um, but anyway, ooh, I think this book is the first result of one of these working groups, which was the estuaries, uh, and Paulo Lana and I, we have lead uh, lead this group for uh, for some time and it was a great experience to do that because uh, this book is is a product not from me or paulo is a product of 37 authors uh, who contributed to the chapters there are six chapters in these books and we, and anyone that uh, of you if you, you see there's a so there's a great uh, review of Brazilian estuaries with a geomorphic and oceanographic perspective. So that's chapter one. Uh, uh, there's a really good review of all kinds of estuaries, deltas, and, and these types of, of ecosystems along the, the coast of Brazil. And then we go on the biodiversity patterns that we see in each of the eco regions, right? From the, no from the northern to the southern Brazil. And and we have decided to use, of course, a benthic perspective because benthic ecologists have been kind of, and there's a lot of work 
on Bento, Bentic assemblages along the coast of Brazil, and a lot of it is in Portuguese or is, on, or, or is in the form of unpublished work. So we, we decided to re both review it and pu put this information in English so anyone can access it eventually. So, uh, um, so these 37 authors, there's uh, like 15 institutions these guys come from, and I think it came out as a great uh, uh, community effort to, to put this together in a year or so. And uh, I think it will benefit for interested students like yourselves or, uh, or scientists that want to uh, further uh, the work that uh, has been done so far. So I think it's a great, con like Alex said, it's a, it's a really interesting uh, point for start for students and scientists to do uh, climate change related research or management research. Uh, uh, most chapters that talk about not only the, the current patterns that are seen on, 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 on biological assemblage, but they also talk about pressures and, and even climate when there's, there's evidence for climate change effects on these estuaries. And um, I think it's a great start of the series. I mean, I'm also looking forward to see the other, the other volumes and the other uh, 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 ecosystem. So uh, I would like, uh, in the name of Paulo and, and all the authors, I would like to thank the authors. I would like to thank the funding agencies that greatly contributed to the Rebentos and, uh, and to, the, to this book. Uh, and I hope if any of you read it, or uh, either like it or not like it, let us know. And, and thank you. Thank you for your, the opportunity to be here. Thank you, Angelo. And uh, when you see the, the content of the of the um, of the book, you see the, the the potential of these guys. I would like to say that because uh, this group of estuaries uh, was uh, led by Angelo, by Paulo Lana, uh, with several colleagues in, along the coast that co-leaded the, the team, and they did several meetings. They uh, f uh, look for uh, uh, additional seed money to convene and to discuss in a more detailed way, and they, and they did a very, very nice, nice work. So this, this book, uh, I, I, I told him that this book set the, the ruler very, very high so that all the others have now a very good reference to, to focus on. So... Thank you very much. Congratulations for the the book, and I hope to 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 have another other ones soon to share with you. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. See you outside and tomorrow. Bye bye.